Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear with Warhammer Electric. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be going over how to find a circuit on a set of plans and then address it to that panel. So we'll just kind of go in really simple. So we're on the lighting set of plans, which in this particular case is E101. It's the level one ceiling lighting plan. So this is giving you all the designations of, you know, lights that you're going to be installing. However, um, if you want to know where these circuits go and how they address, you know, sometimes you get asked, like, is it 120? Is it 277? What is it? You know, so what you're going to want to do is we'll take this one, for instance, a... 139 which is designating that this is panel a1 circuit 39 so in that case you know we'll just kind of kind of bubble it just for whatever and so a139 so what you're going to want to do is come down to your panel schedules find panel a1 which is a new panel, and then circuit 39. And then that's going to tell you you're going to use a 20 amp circuit, which means you're going to be using number 12s um, for that lighting circuit. Um, this will tell you the, you know, the estimated basically, you know, the educated estimation of the um, load and demand that like what it's for so it's saying that this is for lighting it has a volt amp of 1300 so and it's circuit 39 which is on the b phase and you'll notice that this you know only has 1313 because there's only a space on circuit 40 which is the other side of B phase so then we'll do like a receptacle kind of tracing it out or I guess we'll stay on lighting for a second so when you're running your conduits or whatever you know you'll notice that you got all these in a row right 37 39 and 41 um, so what you could do is bundle those together and like put a, like a J box in the middle and then this could be your home run going down and then it basically tailing off to, you know, all these individual ones and obviously you'd make it a lot prettier, but that would be the ideal case right there. Because as you can see, um, A141 goes from here to here and down all the way, right? So there's particular cases like that that can help you out through that. But this could cover a good chunk of your stuff just right off the bat. You know, because this is feeding your B4s down this line. It's also feeding these J boxes for these track lighting, you know. <coughs> so, you know, start it in. It doesn't have to be up here. Like, you always want to put the boxes wherever the panels are going to be. So, if the panel's like right here, then you obviously want to make your boxes over here. But in this particular case, the, um, your panel is going to be right over here so over here makes the best sense right where you're gonna put like if we back it up and essentially your box will be right here your home run box anyway your home bug home run box will be right there and then you'll gradually go this way so, like boom, boom, and then 
from here to the panel or a ones right here so you know when you're setting it up estimating wise this is kind of what you want to do um, so you'll have your hot your neutral hot your neutral hot your neutral and then ground and then hot neutral hot neutral and then hot neutral ground ground so then it just gradually goes down from there but that would be the best way to set it up and then same thing with um, receptacles exact same scenario um, looks like in this particular case you got a 1 a 14 and 16 so if we look at that go to a 1 14 and 16 it's gonna be on your right side right here 20 amp 20 amp I'm gonna use number 12s and you know basically set it up that way right and you can pick something along the way what I like to do is just like kind of get a baseline of where it's gonna go right so that's 14 and 16 I have enough to put one more full circuit in there so I just set a box right here right in this line and then now I can pick up 18 as well you can see that so now I got 14 16 coming to here and then 14 16 and 18 going home so that's like one quick way to kind of you know do it is find like the farthest you know singular one and then pick up ones along the way and you know that's um, you know how I do the the estimating portion of mine of my work when we're doing stuff like this um, I hope you guys like this little video on how to find circuits from pan plans to uh, panel you know um, the panel schedule will tell you all kinds of information on it it's a 100 amp it's an MLO main lug only and there's also another one called MCB which is main circuit breaker which basically saying that you know it's it doesn't have a main um, a main breaker to turn it on or off uh, main lug only is strictly just lugs so um, that typically means that there is a breaker nearby that's within sight um, that it's located in the break room it's fed from panel A which would be this guy and then it's 208 three phase so it's three phase 120 208 four wire which means it has a neutral which obviously it should it's NEMA 1 so it's indoors surface mounted and it has that AIC of 22k yeah so once again hope you guys like this video um, this uh, video was dedicated to a gentleman named Dwayne who um, posted a comment asking for this very specific information so there you go bud if you guys have any other questions, I do answer them um, in the form of another video, if possible, if it warrants it or makes sense. So, um, there you go. This one's for Dwayne. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is John Spear with Warhammer Electric.